Are you tired of the boring, typical icebreakers and back to school activities your students have seen year after year? Well, so are your students. Here's the deal. In order for your students to feel seen, appreciated, welcome, and safe in your classroom, there needs to be trust. And I'm sorry to say this, but meet your neighbor bingo is just not gonna cut it. And if you know what I'm talking about and you've done this in one too many workshops, drop me a, a little 100 emoji below. You know what I'm talking about. So by the end of this video, you're gonna have some unconventional and practical ways that you can create trust among your students starting on day one. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Cecilia Tamez and I'm an educator support specialist. And I help history teachers feel confident and competent by providing resources, support, and solutions for teaching history. If you're a new teacher or you've just been feeling like you need additional support with curriculum, classroom management, or just really building up your confidence this school year, hit me up at Teach Like an Influencer in the link below and let's chat about the ways that we can make this the best school year for you and your students. Okay, so hands down, one of the best icebreakers you can implement for like back to school would be an activity that creates opportunities for vulnerability. Now, having students do an activity where they, I don't know, ask each other's favorite color, it can be a good starting point, you know, if you're just trying to get your students to talk, because let's get real, after an entire year online, some students have just not gotten that typical interaction that happens from one year to the next where they know students or they've at least seen them in the hallway and have some degree of familiarity. Now, when I'm just trying to get my students to talk, I like doing stand up, hand up, pair up, and I use the uh, cake and chips to actually save time on creating discussion prompts. But I still have to admit that that activity alone is not gonna create the vulnerability. So what I do is on the first day, I like to get my students into the mindset that in this class, we're gonna keep it real by doing a segment I like to call good things. So during the first three minutes of class, I like asking my students to share maybe something they're excited about, something they're looking forward to, or maybe a small win that they might be experiencing. Now I have to be honest with you, the first three weeks that I did this, I legit almost gave up. But I realized that I had a model and consistently show up and convey that I wasn't gonna give up on listening to my class. Because with everything that teachers have to do, we actually have to intentionally create time to listen to our students. Just by showing up consistently, you'll win your class's trust and eventually they will start opening up to you. Now, another unconventional icebreaker that'll serve your purpose in learning about your students' deeply held values and help you in creating vulnerability and rapport is a sharing circle. So originally, I participated in this exercise at a teacher in service a couple years ago. But the truth is, it was such a powerful way for me to connect with my colleagues. And mind you, I've been working with them at least 10 years. But that activity allowed me to connect with my colleagues in a way that I just never expected or imagined. I was just so moved by this experience that I actually wanted to show you a clip that I recorded that day. Hey guys, so I'm um, on lunch break right now at work and I have been going, it's a two-day training. I've been doing a two-day training and it has been the most affirming and eye-opening experience ever as far as like being empathetic with people. So in this activity, every person brings a small item to school that is of sentimental value and you take turns sharing why that item is special to you or what it means to you. Now, while not every student is gonna have this deeply moving story or item to share about, it will humanize your students both for you and with their peers and vice versa. Oftentimes, I feel like, especially early on in our careers, we position ourselves or we may position ourselves at the, as these authority figures in the classroom. And the thing is, if a student has not had a good experience with authority figures growing up or in the past, they're going to make up their mind not to like you from the start. And it'll have nothing to do with you. It's just their perspective of that authority figure. But when you humanize yourself by sharing in the sharing circle and being intentional and vulnerable about what you share, it can help students see you not just a teacher, but as a human being. Now, I know this next one's gonna seem very unusual, but it's definitely an icebreaker that will create trust in your classroom, both in you and your students with each other in leadership roles. Now, you might be thinking, what? 
Leadership roles aren't an icebreaker. Well, I actually design leadership roles. I assign them on the first two days of school. So in this way, leadership roles may not directly involve every student, but at the same time, it kind of does because whomever you select to assist you with procedural classroom things to be your class leaders, those students will get to interact with everyone in the class. Now, this is very important, but I do clearly define that leaders are public servants and that the class is also expected to support their leaders, fulfill their roles. Now, aside from this, aside from sharing the stage, sharing the spotlight with students, when we as teachers share the responsibility with students, that makes them feel like we're not trying to position ourselves as some unquestionable authoritarian, but as facilitators who are actually here to support their development. Now, here's the deal. You cannot create trust with mere words. If you agree with that, drop a yes in the comments. But to win trust, there have to be actions that show trustworthiness. By leveraging your student helpers, you immediately give students the opportunity to create experiences where trust is involved between them and you and peer to peer so that those relationships are being built and that tone is being set in your class from day one. If you found this video helpful, be sure to watch my video on creating inclusive classrooms, which I'll link down below for you to watch at the end of the video. And don't forget to sign up for my history teacher help hotline in the link below to receive tips, support, resources, and strategies for teaching social studies straight to your inbox. I want your success. I'm rooting for you. Until next time, class dismissed.